Hey y'all and welcome to How Do You Cook? Back to Basics. I know it's been a while since I've seen all of y'all, but I've had a few of my subscribers request that I make cube steak, AKA minute steak. You're gonna be blown away at how easy this recipe is y'all. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring you all down here and show you exactly how I prepare for my minute steak. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse our cube steak. This is what I have right here. I have two packages of the Black Canyon Angus Beef Cube Steak. So first thing we're gonna do is open up our containers, just like this. Gonna open up these containers good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rinse these off really well. And as you can see, I have a pan here with the paper towels right here so I can drain any excess water that is remaining from our cube steak. And y'all, I had I have already washed my hands, so just so y'all don't freak out or anything. I have washed my hands very well several times. As you can see, there's a lot of water still coming off that. So that's why we're gonna drain them on our paper towels here. And I always try to get um, cube steak that doesn't have that much um, gristle or marbling in it. Because the less marbling, the less grisly your uh, cube steak's gonna be. So this is what I'm talking about right here. See this right here? It doesn't have that much, um, you can see that. Doesn't have that much of the white grisly pieces in it. So you wanna be careful with your cube steak cause you don't want it to fall apart on you either. Okay, y'all, so this is what it looks like in our pan. So now I'm gonna flip this over and let that side get drained a little bit. Okay, y'all, so now that these have drained good, I th I'm gonna move all these over to the side here and I'm gonna try to get this paper towel up because I'm getting ready to season my minute steaks. Okay, y'all, so now we are going to season our minute steaks. So I have some garlic powder here, and you'll notice that it's garlic powder, not garlic salt, because we're gonna be adding salt a little bit later. So we have our garlic powder and we're just gonna put just a little bit on there. We have our onion powder here. Notice that it's onion powder, not onion salt. Okay, so now we have some white pepper here. Now I'm gonna put some of this in my palm because the hole's kind of big and I didn't want it to just get everywhere. I'm just gonna sprinkle it a little bit. For our steaks. Now I have our black pepper. I'm 
and our salt. Okay, so now we're gonna flip these over and we're gonna season the other side. Y'all, our mini steaks have been seasoned, so I'm just gonna sit these to the side for about 30 minutes and let that seasoning kinda seep down into that meat really good. Then we're gonna dredge it and then we're gonna fry it up. So we'll be back in a minute, y'all. This right here is all-purpose flour. You don't really want to use um, self-rising flour, but we're going to dredge this in flour. Make sure you get both the top and the bottom coated really well. Make sure you get all up in those little crevices, y'all. Now, we're going to put that back on our pan until our grease gets ready to start. Now y'all, back when I was younger, when I first started cooking minute steak, I didn't add all those extra ingredients. I, all I did was just add salt and pepper. But if you add those, uh, you add garlic powder and onion powder and all that good stuff, um, it just gives it that little extra pop of flavor. Okay, I'm gonna turn my grease on and get started. Okay, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and add some of our steaks to our pan. Looks like it's ready. What I'm doing here, y'all, is I'm just checking the, I'm just checking underneath my mini steaks, making sure they're not stuck before I start um, flipping them. Once you flip them, you need to leave them in that spot. Don't move them until that crust forms on the other side. Do not move it. Okay, so we're going to leave it right there. Well, y'all, it is taste test time, and I am so ready to try out this minute steak, y'all. So I'm gonna turn this around, and I'm just gonna take a little bite. Let y'all see what that looks like. Now, time to take a bite, y'all. Mmm. 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 
Y'all, this minute steak is so tender. And so flavorful. This is why I suggest picking out minute steak that doesn't have a lot of gristle in it. And you can normally tell if there's a lot of white in your minute steak, you know it's going to be grisly. So try to get the pinkest, non grisly minute steak that you can find. This is some good stuff. Mm. If you don't have all the extra ingredients like the onion powder or garlic powder or white pepper, you don't have to use those. You can just use salt and pepper. That's really basically all you need is just salt, pepper, plain flour, which plain flour is actually all purpose flour. So plain flour, salt and pepper, a little bit of oil for your frying pan and you're good to go. You don't have to add all those extra ingredients if you don't want to. Um, but sometimes I'll make a gravy to go with my minute steak. Um, usually after I fry up my minute steak, I'll remove some of the grease out of my pan and I'll put in some onions and I'll saute those a little bit and I'll put a little bit of flour and let that kind of cook up a little bit and then after that, I'll add some beef broth and then let it get good and thick and then I'll add my minute steak after that. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode on how do you cook back to basics. And if you did, please hit that like button and please do consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos, y'all. Until next time, bye-bye now.